So my name is Miranda Chang. I'm the Global Communications Director for Ad Astra Rocket Company. And today we have Juan De Laia with me and he is the Director of Operations at Ad Astra Rocket Company. And he'll be answering some questions about hydrogen. Hi, my name is Juan Del Valle. I'm the Director of Operations at Adasha Rocket Company in Costa Rica. I'm a mechanical engineer and I have been working with the company for about 16 years now. Uh, 10 of those are working on renewable energies and hydrogen technologies. Um, is hydrogen technology new? I think that there's been a lot of buzz around hydrogen in the last couple of years um, because of different countries investing in it. But is it a new technology? If not, when did it come about? How did it start? Maybe you can give us a little insight on that. Well, I guess the answer to that, as in many questions related to hydrogen, is both no and yes. So hydrogen is not really new. Uh, even the technologies that we know now that we use uh, for it to extract energy from hydrogen, uh, they actually were invented in the 19th century. Uh, even there's a, a famous quote by Jules Verne in one of his books predicting uh, the future of hydrogen as the energy carrier of the future. Uh -huh. uh, there have been companies working on electrolyzers, which are some of the machines that we use to get what we call green hydrogen, which is the carbon-free hydrogen. Companies have been working on those for almost 100 years now. And so these technologies are not really brand new, but what has happened is that in the 60s, as a result of the space program, some of the other key components of hydrogen technology and hydrogen vehicles were developed. In fact, uh, when humans landed on the moon, uh, it was thanks to hydrogen fuel cells, which are the devices that we use to extract electricity from hydrogen. So then in the 70s, because of the first energy crisis that the world had, all some of these technologies started to develop much, much faster. But it has been up until the last 15 to 20 years that serious work has been made and progress into uh, optimizing these things. And finally, I could say that in the last five years, um, production rates have really scaled up. So now we're finally seeing not really the technologies being invented, but they are being made into the mass market. So prices are starting to drop down. And this is the reason why countries are finally looking at hydrogen as something that is viable, because we will have a lot of applications for it. So it is both old and new in that sense. 